OK, this is the third lesson on building character interactions in PowerPoint. If you didn't watch the last one, it's pretty important on the setup. It'll make a lot more sense, and this lesson builds on that. Uh, with that said, let's get right into it. Let's say that you want to um, create a second scenario that is, has a similar structure to the first. Remember that your scenario really was a collection of five slides, um, the base scenario, and the four options. So let's go copy those, paste them in right after, and now let's go back to the normal view. And the first thing you want to do is change that naming convention. Um, that's what the hyperlinking is going to be based on, and it's really confusing if you don't. So this is the second scenario. So we'll go 2, 2A, and then you do 2B and 2C. So I went ahead and renamed all the slides to follow the naming convention. So now let's say you wanted to change the content. Well, in this uh, scenario, you could just say, what color is the sky? And then you would want to have three options. And obviously, that's not a good scenario, but I'm just building this out. Um, three options that are wrong and one that's right. Now, with these, you need to know that the links are put in on top as uh, separate objects. So you'd want to first hide all of the links so that you could change the text. So I'm not going to change them all, but let's say that this is going to be blue. And let's say that I don't want uh, Kevin to be, or that I don't want Ian to be my character. I can just go in here, change picture, and select one of Kevin, turn him around, size him. There we go. And let's say when we get the right answer, which is blue, on slide D, that I want him to do a thumbs up, let you know that you got the answer right. So I could go in here, and I would change the expression, change picture, thumbs up scale them up. It's just that simple. Now I didn't change up all the content, but uh, just enough to kind of show you what to do here. Um, now one of the really important things to do is you need to change your hyperlinks. So um, all of these, it's copied the hyperlinks to the first scenario, so we need to go back and change the hyperlink. So for link A on scenario 2, we want to go to option 2A. So I go edit hyperlink, scroll down, select 2A. Same thing here, I need to select 2B. So I edit my hyperlink, go down to 2B, and then I need to do that for uh, 2C and 2D, but I'm not going to do that. That'll take you um, to the right slide when you're hyperlinking. Now there's two other places you need to hyperlink uh, back. On each of the feedback slides, this try again button is taking you, again, it's to the first scenario. You need to go back to the second scenario, uh, the, first, the first slide of the second scenario. So I edit hyperlink, and I take it to scenario two. Now I could just go do that on each individual one, or I could copy and paste now that that hyperlink is built. It'll stay relative um, to that. So, but I would need to go back to 2B, 2C, 2D, change that link. The other spot I need to change the link is um, when we are on, when we get the right answer on the first scenario, um, it doesn't know which slide to go to. So let's go ahead and just copy that. And on, this, on the right option for scenario one, let's change the text to next, and then get that hyperlink back on. And now let's hyperlink that box to the first slide of scenario two. Now if you do, you can basically repeat the same process that you just did for um, that second scenario. You can do a third, a fourth, a fifth. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, you just need to change the content on, on your base slide, change your links on the base slide, um, change your links on to add the next button, and also that the try again points back to the proper scenario. Uh, if you do that, then you can just publish this out in a rapid authoring tool in PowerPoint, and all of the hyperlinking should be working. So that'll work for um, Articulate Presenter, Adobe Presenter, um, or any of the other rapid authoring tools. Um, you will want to strip out the player navigation um, for the rapid authoring tool because you're just using PowerPoint to, uh, to do the navigation. Um, hope you found that useful. Again, I'll be giving away uh, this scenario as a freebie. Um, so stay tuned for the links. Hope you found that uh, lesson useful. Thanks so much.